Hey everyone, Damien again at Buy Wholesale. It's been a while since we've looked at Argo over a week, which is probably the longest in a long time. Um, but a few people have asked me to do a video, so I will. Uh, there's a couple of articles I want to go over. We'll have a look at the, the price and we'll even talk a wee bit about Zcash. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack everyone, welcome back by Wholesale, hope of course you're all well. Uh, today's video we're just going to talk about Argo, um, there was the ringing of the bell, was the last video, did it live, you can see that video, there is a better video now circling on the internet if you wanted to see that properly, but you can imagine they're all just smiling, clapping, ringing bells, it was, it was a good day, didn't think it would do too much to the share price, it did have a good day, the actual share price, but I think that was more of a coincidence than anything, uh, just based on, on Bitcoin on that time. And prior to that, we had then the big insider buys by Peter and Sarah, uh, CEO and director of Argo Blockchain. Um, Molly Fools put this article out a couple of days ago. I'll not read over the, the front of it because the short, the short tale is the big insider buys. We talked about it at the time, what that would mean. To me, it showed faith in the company. They're investing their hard-earned money, over 100 grand Peter invested. Um, it's hard earned money because he believes in the project. To me, that shows strength. And he, you know, and he just talks about the, the show of strength. And he says, you know, when they bought the, the price, um, the share was one hundred one pound thirty two, and it's out of the one point one pound thirty five. And we'll have a look at the charts now in a moment. But even at the time, I did sort of say, to be fair, this wasn't like it was rock bottom. They were doing this to try and pump the price back up a bit. Don't get me wrong; it, it, it's significantly low compared to the, the highs that we've seen. But it shows that they're not just trying to pump it up or, or you know, sort out or do some sort of manipulation. They're buying at a fair enough price compared to the last sort of six months. Um, and that to me showed strength. And that's just what they're saying here. You know, he does say at the end, uh, the weary of the surge price in Argo earlier this year, and he felt it disconnected from the company's fundamentals as it has fallen, however, he's starting to see potential value in its portfolio. Um, and then the strategy of selling some of his crypto holdings from time to time, give it to cash flows, which I prefer to the company just hoarding virtual currencies speculatively. Uh, with the profits set to increase in the coming years and the share price far below its former level, I do see potential value here for my portfolio. Unlike some of the company's directors though, I still won't be buying the shares around the current level as it remains too risky. But we know the Molly Fool, he, he is, he's one of the most boring investors, doesn't like to do too much in my opinion. Um, but that's quite positive from, from him. Um, he is very active on Argo blockchain and that's one of the more positive ones that I've read. Just reconfirming everything that we talked about on the channel to be fair. But let's have a look at more exciting stuff. We can see here, Argo, this is what I want to show you. Look at the site, guys. The development here is phenomenal. Really, really, a lot of hard graph going in. And I can tell you this, compared to um, American Battery Metals, if we have a look here, we can see how they're progressing. You know, these guys are still pouring concrete, you know, putting in rebar. Um, and the construction process for Argo is being leaps and bounds. Uh, faster and these projects start at the same time so it's interesting for me some similar ground conditions uh, everything's there the feasibility would be the same and they're really knocking this up and I don't know the details I don't have the plans I don't I don't know the construction type but I can tell you right now slabs or slabs ground conditions of similar conditions are the same I don't really understand why one's going so fast and the other one uh, is taking a lot uh, less time. Again, we don't know the workmanship. Uh, you would have to say that it's purely down to workers. Maybe American Battery Metals only have you know two people doing it or something. I don't know. But I uh, have to say, as an Argo shareholder, I am delighted to see how quick they're knocking this up. Serious graph, serious uh, speed. Um, and then it looks, looks like a really great job a huge big factory wow it really I mean it, the pictures don't do it justice this is a huge big project that's going on here so really excited about that we'll see the next stage will be obviously closing that up making it weather tight and then the fit out will, will, will start um i don't know if they're doing any more cladding or whatever but i'm super excited about it and we'll keep you posted on that yesterday it actually had a decent day and then i pulled back massively at the close and the reason i pulled back massively at the close is because in, in, in my other video i'll just share the link here you can go and read about it we know all about how yesterday performed month's been choppy but if we look at this based on current prices we are down 3.62 on the month and since the start of trading on the 23rd of september we are currently up 3.4 percent so over two months now three percent not great rise but we've seen it has been quite choppy and look we know what's going on with bitcoin tanking hard uh, the markets in general are tanking hard and see considering all that i'm okay i actually think it's done pretty good 
I think that I think it has done reasonably well. We can see, unfortunately, we're down two point nine seven on the uh, week. It really hurt because of, of this uh, yesterday bloodbath. It is what it is. Pull up the day chart. Unfortunately, if I'm looking at this, I would be saying that it is. Uh, it's not a buying opportunity. Uh, MACD doesn't look good. RSI doesn't look good. Looks like the volume. Looks like we're going down, baby. So we'll just have to see what way it goes. We're not. We're not going to predict uh, the prices right now because it really is crystal ball stuff at the moment with, with so much volatility going on in the markets. We can see ARB then. Um, unfortunately, the news broke after it closed, so not surprised to see that pull back today. We have our supports, I've said, 110, that's where you fill your boots. Um, it's had a decent run recently. Surprisingly, we still have a buy symbol that came in, and that is the trend that we're following. So it's not terrible. We are below our 180 day moving average, which isn't great. I like to be above that, but look, all things considered, it's hanging on. No major panic to add my, to my position if I was a first time buyer of Argo blockchain. Um, I would maybe start having a nibble if it was to sort of fall around that 110. I've said that in the last few videos and I'll continue saying that, but you never know if Bitcoin will turn around and go up. We will see uh, a core change there. And just on the Bitcoin, all these crazy lines that was, what was drew all the dreams and hopes. I actually did this, I believe, did I do a video on this or did I do this in my course? I can't remember what I did this on. Uh, it's been last week or whatever. What I was trying to show you was an ascending triangle. Every time we get up and down, it kind of goes up. And I feel that we're still in this channel. I did say we could see lows of 52 and a half uh, before we see any sort of reversal. It, you know, your guess is as good as mine. The shooting star candle, mm, quite bearish. We are down today. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see on the Bitcoin dream. And then the lastly, I just want to talk about Zcash. This is the other currency that Argo also mine. For anyone that don't know that um, and what got me excited about this year was this initial excitement sort of got in an average price of around here so i am slightly down on my position um by six yeah by six percent but i had seen previous highs nice little run you know for anyone that was in on this you know if you bought from there to there you know 100 percent rise 20th november 26th lovely stuff um so definitely volatile plenty very speculative for me but I uh, just thought I'd, I'd do a wee cover on that. So where's Argo going in the next day, next week? God knows so much going on out there, but where's it going in the future? To the friggin' moon, baby, you best believe. Delighted with the progress, delighted with the insider buys, as I reiterated again, all this short-term volatility. Use it to your advantage. Don't be worried too much. We'll see what the new year brings. I'm just sort of writing the rest of this year off uh, with all the um, things that I mentioned in the upper video today. If you are worried, of course, about this, you can take control, protect your hard-earned gains, know how to swing in and out of things, protect yourself at all times. And my elite course is now available if you're interested in learning all about this good stuff. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you soon. Peace. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah.